Hey fellow camera geeks, Harv here and welcome back for another installment of Harv Video Audio Stuff where I do research, test gear and then relay my findings to you and in the process we all level up our videography, myself included. Today we're talking bad filmmaking practices. We're all guilty of at least one or two on this list but you know, we're all human and shit happens. What I want to know is what have I forgotten? Please pop some more in the comments. We're all friends here, so this is a chance for you to get your filmmaking, filmmaking bad habits off your chest and have some fun with it. <music> Fix it in post is a nasty, ugly saying that you'll hear from clients who have fringe knowledge of what we do and is usually basically all we need to hear before we decide to reshoot whatever needs fixing. Of course, we also don't want the clients knowing that we actually do have quite a few tricks up our collective sleeves for fixing things in post. We want them to think that we're miracle workers, right? I actually made a video a while ago called Five Ways to Fix It in Post. Uh, it's an older video now, but the content is still really relevant. Link below. Fail to prepare and you blah, 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 that old saying. But annoyingly, it's true. I, I know that if I have a moment of arrogance before going out to a shoot and I'm like, I don't need a list reminding me to bring my SD cards. I've done this how many times before? It's boring and unnecessary. I know what I'm doing. That will be the time when I forget something essential like my camera, ruffle. You got just gotta stay humble and think how frustrating it would be to forget something important. So make lists, scout locations ahead of time and get everything you need ready and bundled up the day before you start. Don't be late is obvious, but I also feel like it's an understatement. Yes, Harv, obviously don't be late. Get to where you need to be early, plan to be at your location an hour early. Trust me, it won't be a wasted hour. You can use the hour to double check your equipment, do further scouting around the location, shoot some B-roll, hell, you could even get a short time lapse done in that hour if that's going to help you. But all of this adds up to being better prepared, having more media to use and just looking more professional. So late is rude, early is professional and cool. Don't format your cards. It sounds like an odd thing to say, but it's a little extra insurance if you have any issues with your backups on your computer for any reason. I tend to format a card just before starting a new project. Obviously, having checked that I 100% don't need what's on that card. This is a no-brainer, people. Care for your gear because they're expensive and there are tools. I'm definitely guilty of flinging my cameras around during shoots, swapping lenses and filling them back into the bag without lens caps whilst leaving my mirrorless camera sensor exposed for longer than I should, being rough with cables and not cleaning gear as often as I should. So I vowed to take more time with care, the care and maintenance and basically not commit any of the aforementioned crimes going forward. Are you with me? Back up your footage after a shoot, even if you get in late. Make the first thing you do dumping the footage onto your computer. I'm not going to harp on about this because you hear this from every single camera related YouTube channel. Just don't be that guy. And that's it for now. Be sure to get your filmmaking sins in the comments below. I do read them and I'm there as much as I possibly can be. As always, I've loved making this video for you and if you're still in the mood for more dope videos about video, I'll pop a couple of interesting ones just here. And if you're not subscribed, just hit the blob that's right here. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot a better video. See you guys.